Hello everyone and welcome to Tissue Paper Painting with Miss Taryn from the Davis County Public Library. Well, thanks for joining me today. So we've had a little bit of a break from our virtual programs and our kits, um, but this one we're going to do to start off 2021. Um, a simple and an easy activity that you can do at home with your kids. Um, this one can really be done for any ages. Um, it's recommended for kindergarten and up, but it could also be done with preschooler with adult supervision. All right, so if you're interested in doing this program at home with your family, all you have to do is go to the library, go to the second floor, the children's desk, and be um, asking for the tissue paper painting kits. All right, so uh, you can also obtain the kits from our curbside service. So you can just pull in the parking lot. Um, there are parking spots facing Ford Avenue. You just call the library and then we'll bring out a kit to you if we have any available, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna walk you through how to do tissue paper painting today. Um, and then you'll be able to see what a finished product looks like at the end. All right, so let's go. So first of all, if you go pick up your kit at the library, it should look like this in a brown paper bag, and it'll have the instruction sheet on the outside stapled to it. So I'm just gonna take that off so we can follow along. And you'll notice on the instruction sheet, it has a QR code that you can scan with your phone that will take you to this video on our Facebook page. So um, be sure to do that if you're ending up with the kit and not the video, or vice versa, um, this gets you to this video. All right, so um, it has a picture of the finished product on it, and it also has the materials that are in your bag. Okay, so pretty simple. Um, so first of all, we have a white crayon. Get it out. There we go. So we've got a white crayon. Let's put that here one piece of cardstock paper, and I went ahead and took it out because I accidentally folded it. Oops. Um, it still works, it's just a little, little shaped funny. All right, and then we have, and I'm gonna just dump this, colorful tissue squares, okay? So you should have several different tissue squares of various colors in your paper bag, all right? And then there's additional materials that you'll need that we didn't include in the bag. So you'll need water, which I think you should be able to get. And then either a paintbrush or some kind of spray bottle. Um, so this one is it's a small one. If you have old um, containers that you use, like cleaning products that you've washed out really good, or maybe you have a spray bottle for your animal, <laughs> I know we have one for our cats, then you can use that. It just needs to have water in it, okay? And then another thing that you might want to have handy are paper towels, and I've got mine right behind me, so I can grab those at any time, okay? So the paper towels are to clean up any mess that you might have. Um, I didn't put this on the list of things that you need, but some kind of surface to do the actual painting part is helpful because this uh, because this once it's once it has tissue paper on it is gonna stain whatever it's on okay so I have this foil pan from my kitchen that I'm using you can put down newspapers you can put down old magazines um, paper towels trash bags anything like that all right now, on the front, we have the materials that you need. On the back, we have the instructions. Okay, so let's read our instructions together and start our activity. All right, so first we want to use the white crayon to draw or write whatever you like on the cardstock paper, okay? You won't be able to see what you draw until the very end, so, very, so try to make it perfect. Um, so it is kind of hard. Let me move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Um, it's hard to to do that without knowing what exactly what it's going to look like, but you can kind of see. I know you can't see it on here, but if I look really close, I can see 
the wax from the crayon coming off. And I am retracing mine. You notice that? I am retracing my letters. I'm just writing my name. Okay, so I've traced them just to make sure that they um, show up when we do the painting part. Okay, and if you kind of hold your paper up like this under the light, you can see it a little bit. So if you think, oh man, I need to color in this part or whoops, I didn't cover this section as well. You have the opportunity to do that. All right, so looks like a white piece of paper, but it actually has white crayon writing on it. Okay, so we've done that. Let's go to number two. Use a spray bottle or paintbrush to spray the cardstock paper, paper until damp. Okay, so for this part, I'm going to get my foil pan out. So if you have your newspapers, uh, your trash bags, whatever you're using, you'll want to go ahead and get those. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and get it damp. And I don't really want it to be soaking wet, but just wet enough to where it's going to absorb the tissue paper. All right, so I've sprayed it. You guys can probably see a little bit. There's some moisture dripping off of it. Okay. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do, this is, this is the fun part, is you're gonna take the tissue paper squares in whatever arrangement you like and put them over your cardstock paper. Okay, so paying close attention to where you're putting them on top of the uh, the area where you drew or wrote. Now, if you wrote all over the page, that's perfectly fine. Um, or if you just did a section like I did, I just wrote on one part of it, um, that's fine too. But either way you do it should create the same or some kind of similar result. Now, these tissue paper squares kind of stick together and they're very thin, but when they are stacked on top of each other, they're going to make the color a little stronger. So if you want a stronger color, you can have like a stack and I've got like five or six here in this purple square, or you can just space them out one by one and put them themselves so like here's one little red tissue paper square I'll put it alone put this over here mine has a lot of red so red might be the main color that shows up um, and depending on how you want your painting to look you may want to cover up all the white parts and I'll show you what I mean there or you can leave it open for kind of a unique looking watercolor. Okay, so what I have here, you can see it, they're sticking pretty well. Um, I've put my tissue paper squares all over and you'll see there's some peaks of the card, card stock paper underneath and that's okay. I can move it around if I want to or I can just leave it that way. But basically whatever colors are touching the, the card stock those are the ones that are going to shine through the best whenever we paint. Okay, well, paint. <laughs> We're not actually using paint. We're using the tissue paper to create the colors. All right, so we've got our tissue paper squares. Now we're going to spray more water over the squares. And this is the part where it can get messy. So just be aware that you can stay in your hands. You can stay in your countertops, whatever you're using. It's easy to do that. And for this part, you can get it wetter. So instead of just like drying it out, like getting it a little damp, I would get it as wet as you can. Okay, so I'm kind of moving it around. Yeah. Okay, so it should look pretty wet and it should stay all together. Okay. 
All right, so now before you remove the squares, you'll want to let it sit for a while. Um, I've done this a few different times and it takes, takes a little bit of time. So um, if you look at the example, which I have printed on our sheet, and I'll try to get closer so you can see that, um, you'll see that it looks like a beautiful watercolored painting, okay? Um, that probably took, you know, 12 hours to 24 hours. Um, what I've done is I've made my art in the afternoon, then I've gone home, then I've come back to work, and then it's usually dry the next day. So, a little less than a day. Um, but, I want to show you this part. All right, so right here we have the tissue paper painting example, and I didn't have it handy with me today, but I have a picture of it here on the instructional sheet. So you'll see that there is this little picture of leaves, and it's very beautifully colored. You can see some yellow, some oranges, blue, red, pink. That's what your picture is gonna look like when it's done. Now, depending on how much of the colors you use, you may have more or less, depending on where you put everything. Okay. So when you're finished, and this one's not finished yet, right? Cause we haven't had it, we haven't let it sit long enough. But when you're finished, you're gonna take off each of the squares gently, and this can stain your hands. Since I'm doing it immediately after, the color hasn't had time to come out of the squares yet. But if you leave it for any amount of time, it will. Okay, so pulling these up. Some of them want to stick to the paper already, but this pink may not come up. Yeah, look. Okay, so these pinks, I have a hard time getting it up. The pinks over here have already started to stain the color. But you're just gonna take the tissue paper squares off. If you have gloves, maybe you wanna do that. Um, until it's completely empty and then you can see the white crayon underneath. So with the painting that I showed you of the leaves, the white part, those were the leaves that were drawn with the crayon. Okay, so with this one, I don't think we'll be able to see it yet. No. But I wrote my name out. Yeah, you can just see a little bit. Apparently the pink is, is sticking pretty well. Yeah, so you can see part of a letter that I drew right there. Okay, yeah, my hands are not messy yet. Just a little wet. Okay, so that is tissue paper painting. And again, yours should look, should have some colors on it when you're finished, once you let it sit for a while. Okay, so again, you can pick up this kit to make your own at home from the library. You can come to the second floor children's desk to pick up the kit, or you can pull into a parking lot uh, in one of our curbside parking slots and call us and we'll bring it out to you. All right, um, one other thing I forgot to mention is if you don't have a spray bottle, you can use any kind of paintbrush, the thicker the better. This is a small one. Um, but basically you would have a bowl of water here and then spread the paintbrush, spread that, spread the water over the picture using the paintbrush. Okay. So we didn't do that today because I did have the spray ball and it is a little bit quicker. Okay. All right, guys. Well, drop your photos in the comments if you have anything to add. Um, if you have any questions, you can drop those in the comments as well, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.